How's it going? My name is Ryan and I'm going to teach you how to prep the three electrodes we use in the lab. To start, you're going to grab your counter electrode, which is made of platinum, either wireless or foil. You're going to rinse it off uh, with 18 mega ohm water from the dispenser. Make sure that you do rinse the foil or the wire, but be very gentle with it. Um, they're expensive and easy to bend. Then you're going to grab a chem wipe and very carefully making sure that you're not wiping the wire or foil dry off the glass and head over to the torch on the workbench. Now when you first put the torch into the flame you might notice that it doesn't start glowing right away. Uh, that's just because of some excess water that means it hasn't air dried enough so you're just going to pull it out for a second let that evaporate and then you can see it starts glowing right away there. Now, in order to store the counter electrode, uh, this is only necessary if it's got a foil tip. If it's a wire tip, you can just leave it out. Um, you're going to drop it in a test tube, making sure that the foil side is facing up towards the top of the test tube. Stretch some parafilm over the top, keep the dust out, and uh, wrap it around to seal it. For the working electrode, before you do anything else, you're going to want to polish it. So to start, you're going to store your working electrodes while you're working with them in 18 mega ohm water uh, just to keep them clean. You're still going to want to polish them in between use. Um, so to start polishing, grab your alumina. Uh, we're using the 0 0.05 grit for this. Um, you're going to spread it onto your little microfiber polishing pad and then wet that with some deionized water, uh, preferably 18 mega ohm. And then you can use the blade of the spatula to spread it out evenly over the surface of the polishing pad. And then you're going to lay the electrode flat on the polishing pad and move it in little figure eight motions. Circular motions could potentially slant the tip of the electrode, so it's safest to use these figure eights uh, to balance it out. You're going to polish for about two to five minutes, depending on the state of the electrode. Um, if it's been left in good condition, you should only really need to do it for two minutes um, and only with the highest grit. And wipe it off with a chem wipe, making sure not to touch the electrode you just polished. And then drop it into that 18 mega ohm water again and take it to the sonicator for five minutes. When that's done, pull it out of the shell vial. blast it with some nitrogen to dry it off. And then when you're done using it, rinse it off and store it back in that shell vial. For your reference, you're just going to want to rinse it with 18 mega ohm water. This is to get rid of any of the uh, potassium chloride ions that are in the solution in the vial that we store it in. So you're going to hit it with the 18 mega ohm water and then be very careful to dry it without touching the frit. I'll show you here in a second. So that little uh, opaque part at the tip is the frit that allows ions to transfer in and out. And it needs to stay wet so that uh, the electrode doesn't dry out. Um, you can see there that I made sure absolutely that I didn't hit it with the wipe. And then if for some reason your reference electrode does dry out, you can repair it. The first thing you're going to want to do is stick it in the refrigerator, and that's just going to free up the joint so that you can open it. Uh, five minutes should do it. When you're done with that, you're going to grab the electrode with some soft touch pliers from the glass cutting kit. And then I like to use a little C-clamp uh, and just put a little pressure on it with my hand to make sure that it's not squeezing all the way down. Open the electrode, set aside the part with a silver wire, and then you're going to fill a beaker with some of the electrode filling solution, uh, which is saturated potassium chloride and silver chloride. You're going to load that up into a syringe. And it's very important that when you're filling your syringe, you don't have any bubbles in it because it makes it very hard to tell when the electrode is full. 
Um, I'll show you here. You'll notice a lot of little bubbles rising out of the solution, and those make it kind of difficult to tell what the level will be when you slide in your silver wire. So I'm going to try my best to remove those bubbles and fill it again with just solution instead of solution and air. You're going to fill it almost to the top, and then you're going to fill it the rest of the way up to the top with the electrode solution, check for bubbles, realign the silver wire, and then I like to cover the frit with a chem wipe just to keep everything sealed from the pressure as it closes. That's it, you're done.